Hi, in this video we'll show you how easy it is to reconcile your SAP data migration using the Alteryx connector for SAP. To do this I'm going to build a simple workflow within the Alteryx designer. We start with an SAP logon tool and we use this to connect to two systems. Firstly our ECC system which is where we're migrating from and then secondly to our HANA system, our S for HANA system where we're migrating to. We're going to pull data from both of these systems and use the reconciliation tool to compare. If we ping now, then you can see that we've connected successfully to them. The next thing to do is to bring in our table tool. As its name suggests, this is to read data from an SAP table. So we drag the tool into the canvas and connect it to our SAP logon to share the connectivity. And we pick the specific ECC system in this case that we want to read data from. Let's just change the name so we don't get confused. And then we hit the parameters tab where we can select the table. Now we can search for the table, but as I know I'm looking for this banking table, I can just put its name in, hit refresh, and I get the metadata for that table, which I can now select all fields because obviously I'm going to compare the full table. Of course, if the fields aren't equivalent in both systems, we can choose to admit them. Alternatively, we could use transformations or mapping rules to ensure that the migration has happened correctly. To speed things up for the demo, I'm just going to add a filter here for the UK. You can add filters, of course, as you wish to reconcile comparable data. Next, I'm going to duplicate this table tool, which I'm going to connect into the S for HANA system. So first we connect into our SAP logon tool to share the credentials, and we choose the system that we're looking at for this particular tool. Let's change the text so that it's easily recognizable in the workflow. It's nice that the workflow is, of course, self-document in this way. And now that we've built the connection to the tables, it's time to bring in the ACS reconciliation tool. So we drag that into the canvas and connect each table to one of the two anchors. When we do this, the structure of each of the tables is passed into the tool. And we're able now to configure a mapping within the tool so that we can compare field by field, row by row. By clicking refresh, we see the left table, which is from ECC. And then by clicking auto, the system will attempt to map the fields from the right anchor, the S for HANA system. We can choose not to compare fields if we wish by selecting not mapped. And we'd use this when we know that fields are not comparable. So perhaps it's a creation date for the row or a client number. And finally, now you can see that I've selected the key so that we can identify rows which are to be compared. Let's add browse tools to all the output anchors and run the workflow. So we're extracting data from both systems, the reconciliation tool, compares those and we can see from each of the anchors the results of those comparisons. From the left and right anchors we see the rows that are present in the left or in the right but are missing from the other. From the J anchor we see the errors at field level so where a match is made between rows on the different systems however field values differ. So that's fast and easy table reconciliation for your data migration project which not only speeds the IT effort but hopefully it gives reassurance to your business partners on the accuracy of the migration. Hopefully this video has been useful, but if you'd like to learn more, please visit us at our website at dvwanalytics.com.